when you make standard purchase orders from suppliers, occurring regularly enough that you want easy access for new orders, you can assign a standing status to keep it available after receiving and invoicing it for the next time an order is required. To create a standing purchase order, you first need to create or edit an open order, and then change the status field value to standing. Purchase order entry is essentially the same for standing orders as it is for open purchases, except that the Receive Date field and the Receive button are inaccessible. This means that for standing orders, you have to issue the purchase order before you can receive and invoice it. After the purchase order has been issued and printed if desired, this PO is copied to a new transaction with a standing status, and sets this purchase order with an issued status. Therefore, there are now two separate purchase transactions on this list, with the new standing purchase order for future use. On the issued purchase order, the Receive button and date now become active as usual, where you can enter received quantities for items, receive the purchase and stock into inventory, and create an invoice transaction for the vendor. When you post and close this purchase order, it is moved to purchase history as with regular purchase orders, leaving the previously copied standing PO available for the next time you want to make this order. Using standing purchase orders saves time in having to search purchase history and locate the document for copying to a new order. Instead, you can choose to filter the much shorter active orders list for standing orders to find the one you want more easily. If you would like more information about Spire Accounting, access the link in the description below to our homepage. Read the online manual help for additional assistance. Watch more videos from this playlist. And subscribe to the Spire YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.